This line of heavily armed police shows just how contentious the High Court ruling was expected to be. Activists emerged triumphant, saying the High Court's decision is a victory for the country's secular constitution. They opposed jamaat e islami a religious political party already under enormous pressure. Its activists are on trial, its activities under scrutiny, and now a court ruling has blocked its chances of contesting next year's elections. jamaat e islami party is anti-Islam and anti-state. That is why we petitioned against it to ban the registration. Even though it took a long time to get the verdict, we got justice. This verdict proves that those who use religion and politics, their days are numbered. Now many are concerned of a repeat of scenes like these. Scores of people have died this year in fighting between security forces and supporters of jamaat e islami and its affiliated groups. Members of jamaat e islami say their religious beliefs are being persecuted. This court ruling will do little to dispel that belief. Judges declared jamaat e islamis charter in breach of the constitution, which bars religion and politics. And while Jamaat has rarely won more than 5% of the vote in past elections, its real power is as the political kingmaker. It's an ally and potential coalition partner for the main opposition group, the Bangladesh Nationalist Party. There are no exact figures, but Human Rights Watch says at least 150 people have been killed and thousands more injured in unrest in recent months. There's been fighting at jamaat e islami rallies opposing the trial of its leaders charged with war crimes dating back to 1971. Four of its leaders have already been sentenced to death. The court's decision doesn't ban jamaat e islami from operating as a political party. But this ruling will further cement the belief that the party and what it stands for is being marginalised. Miran Nahond, Al Jazeera.